Thank you, Angie. And a meeting between activists and the Kansas City Police Chief and Mayor just ended a short while ago. Group discussed the reforms made here since last summer's protests and what is still to come. KCTV5's Leslie Aguilar joins us live now to explain what was discussed today. Leslie. Well, Carolyn, first of all, that private meeting, the one that just ended about an hour ago, may become the first of monthly meetings between community activists, the police chief, and the mayor. They discussed recent reforms the police department announced, um, including body cameras, independent investigations of officer-involved shootings, a duty to intervene policy that encourages officers to step in if they see a colleague acting inappropriately, a First Amendment policy that lays out how police will respond to future protests, a ban on chokeholds, an internal system uh, for officers to report inappropriate behavior of their colleagues, and changes to the Office of Community Complaints where citizens can report police misconduct. Now, one of the activists here, uh, here today says that there will be large protests against systemic racism and police brutality again this summer. Police Chief Rick Smith says the new policies they implemented following last summer will ensure that future protests go more smoothly and that there's more police accountability. The third day we started protests last summer, this is something we advocated for. I think it was the De Bruce Foundation that dropped the money for that. So without a doubt, I want to thank them for that. But it's without a doubt important that we have policy and we're now getting this policy. They're now being deployed in the field. And I mean, that's another way to hold our, our public officers and community officers accountable. Can you name another city in America that private entity raised that much money in like 48 hours so that we could have body cameras? I don't know of any place in the country that where the community jumped up and stood up and wanted to help the police department achieve that goal. So hats off to our community and I think our community would be better off for it. That body camera program kicks off tomorrow. Now, some of the activists also called for Chief Smith's resignation in that private meeting today. Chief Rick Smith did not back down. He says that's not going to happen. The mayor supports the police chief, but there were some things that the mayor agreed with activists on, and they include more transparency when it comes to complaints against police misconduct, what happens, how those complaints are followed up on. He would also like to see local control of the police department, which proponents of that say that it would give more power to the citizens in controlling and making changes to the police department. Emily Rittman was here as we talked to um, both leaders and activists following that meeting. She's going to have much, much more on what was discussed coming up tonight at 10. Reporting live in Kansas City, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News. Thank you, Leslie.